Hello there. Only one Kenobi here. Only one. Now this is the figure that people have been raving about. It is the Sith Jet Trooper. And there's more to come from this guy. There's this Sith Jet Trooper. I guess it's a guy with a rocket pack. Oh yes, and they can fly like, <laughs> like the Rocketeer. But also there's another one. There's just the Sith Trooper that's coming out, I think. And there's two variants of him. So there's like three cards dedicated to these red stormtroopers effectively um, when they first sort of like came onto the uh, radar these characters i thought to myself it's almost like a bit the cliche gap filler style character you know we've had you know, stormtroopers galore all different types of armor then we've had black stormtroopers you know obviously going back to the shadow trooper then the death trooper from rogue one and we've had the Praetorian Guard, which is like a throwback for these guys, which is the original red kind of royal guard. Now they're making red stormtroopers, which are Sith stormtroopers. And the Sith are obviously associated, associated with the colour red. So initially my first reaction was, it's so obvious, it's such an obvious choice for a, a, a new character. But um, nonetheless, I'm excited for what they do in the film. I have no idea what they do. They do look cool. And yeah... Let's talk card backs now, technical toy stuff, man. These look like really good card backs. They are good card backs. I particularly like the Sith Trooper card backs I've seen. One of them of which has one of those kind of Boba Fett offer style stickers, you know, with the spiky tips around the outside. The Corona type thing. But um, anyway, enough talk. This is VC159. As you can see, I have two of them. So I'm just deciding they're both equally good in quality, but because I have two decent quality ones, I've now I have the pick of like which one I'm gonna keep and which one I'm gonna open. I'm actually considering opening this one. This one here from um Forbidden Planet because it's got that stupid security thing on the back, you know, so that's kind of ugly, man. So uh but apart from that, I'm looking at you know what it's like, you like me, you kinda of look at it. Looking for imperfections, dings, leave, looking at the bubble. There's nothing in it, man, apart from that thing there. So I think I'm going to open that one. Join me. Boom. I'm still here, hang on. And welcome back. And we're doing this now in the style of my Quick Shot series in a way. I've got one spinning and I've got that there. I was just going to show you the card of one and then open it and then have it loose, but... As you know, I had two, and here they are. And it's a great figure, you know. There was a lot of hype about this from my good friend Tim from Bosk's Bounty. He was saying he thought this was the best, and you know what? It's a great figure, but again, the reason I opened the Knight of Ren was just because in terms of quirkiness and all of that, I, um... Well, he's in, as I said in that video, he's my kind of character. Uh... Whereas these are just troopers that are red, really, I, I thought. But, you know... In terms of how good a figure is nowadays, this really does embody everything. It's such a really well put together figure in that scale. But I'll show you the articulation in a minute. But first off, just in, just drink him in, spin in there. And, you know, isn't it good that we can have a? I've got him in that one pose, but isn't it good that we've got this articulated range that we can have them in any pose we want? So he will be awesome army built. If you've got multiple, that's enough spinning. Let's have a, look, a closer look at this guy. So he's he's pretty nice, and look at that lovely red. Actually, I do like, I do like the I do like it a lot, you know. And I look forward to seeing them in the film, as I've said. Beware that pistol there, just like with the first order stormtroopers, has a little trench on it, or a little I don't know what you call it, a thing that you can clip it on with. Um, I'll take it off, but it falls off so easily. It's really annoying, actually. It would be great if they had some sort of magnet on the leg, you know, that, that the thing would stick on, you know, so it wouldn't fall off. I mean, if you've got it on display, it's not going to go anywhere. But, you know, for a kid, see, imagine if a kid had that, it would just constantly fall off. That doesn't matter. Look at that amazing backpack there. Very nice. Awesome. It's almost like got that style of the tank driver. The Imperial tank driver. Right, enough of him. We'll come back to him in a minute, maybe. And I'll show you the articulation, but firstly, let's just get a close look at this lovely card. Look at that. I'm so glad that they have brought back that fatter text. Bigger font. So much better. What a great card back as well. I like it. It's better. A better card back than the Knight of Ren, actually. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's quite late when I'm doing this. And also, I must apologise. I watched my introduction back. I'm talking a bit funny on it. The reason is I've got a, a bit of a mouth ulcer. It's quite painful. It's huge as well, so... <laughs> Sorry to gross you guys out, but... Uh... 
I just noticed I was talking differently, talking funny. It's probably because I've got that in my mouth. But anyway, there he is in the bubble. Lovely looking figure. Really nice. I just meant that before, no criticism, I just thought, <laughs> when I first saw they were bringing out red stormtroopers, which effectively they are, I just thought it was a bit of a sort of cliche choice, what with calling them Sith, because they're not actually Sith, are they? Unless they've cloned Sith now, which I don't think they have. I don't think you can clone Siths if you look at the lore surrounding Starkiller. It's not possible. It's very difficult to do it, apparently. But anyway, these guys may be protectors of the Sith. That's what I mean. They're red. Royal Guards were protectors of the Sith. These guys are a mezcla. Una mezcla. A mix of, you know, Royal Guards and Stormtroopers. Which, technically, the Royal Guards were Stormtroopers. They were like the elite. A bit like... Royal family, the Buckingham Palace, you know, surrounded by those guards. They are the elite of the army, effectively. The, uh, what are they called now? I've forgotten the name of them. Got different names. The Household Cavalry and yada yada. Anyway, there's the, the wave. So this is what we've got on the channel so far. We've got this guy, her, and then that is it. I've got Ray ready to go. Um, I didn't show it in my haul video, but I picked up another one of them at Echo Base Live. Another Imperial Stormtrooper. That's such a good figure, I had to get it. I've done FET already. Looking forward to Luke arriving to fit in my new X-Wing. And I've got to say now to anybody who was new to the channel, a ton of people jumped onto my channel and saw my X-Wing video. So welcome if you are one of them. Plenty more to come from on my channel. So if you even if you are new around here, please do subscribe. I'm pretty nuts on the vintage collection. I love it. You know, it's brilliant. It's such good quality as well. And I'm really enjoying this current period. You know, you do enjoy it. We don't know what the future brings for all of this. But this is kind of like we're hitting some sort of peak now of 3.75 production. A lot of people might not agree with some of the the characters and the the films that they're coming from. Like, But, you know, I haven't seen this film, but I love that logo. Look at it. I'm so glad. With, that is something they've done so well. I'd be really happy personally with the Star Wars um, chases and fonts they've used for these these cards. They're brilliant. They were going to have a chunky font a while ago for The Force Awakens, a bit like the Empire Strikes Back font, but I think they'll bring that back again, maybe for Rebels or something, who knows. They did it for Clone Wars as well, those cards. But anyway, so there you go. We're having a bit of an all-round look now. I think it's time I showed you what this guy can do in terms of articulation, if you really want to know. Let's do this. Let's just get everything out of the way. He feels great. So as I say, this gun is a bit of an issue. It falls off really easily, but I'll take it off for now. You can have him any way, like, I was going to pose him like that, you know, have a double hand on the gun, which you can't do that with the old movie line, because you can't bend the elbows. I wouldn't mind, I would have loved the movie line a lot more if the arms weren't like that straight, but these guys, I think it's so important. Oh. Yeah, we're back. Sorry about the technical difficulties. Like last time, the camera's falling off. The blue tack is not doing its job. But anyway, I was just saying that the good thing about these versus the movie line, full, artic full articulation, I mean, is that you can bend elbows. I think that if, of all articulations, that is most important. Because look at that, now he can hold a weapon. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't have minded no articulation in the legs, no knee bending or whatever. But that, I hated it when you got those first, or first order stormtroopers and all they could do was stand like that. So they'd only look good in a kind of a parade or something but anyway this guy you can do it all with check out this i love the head articulation of this current vintage line it is so good look at that you can even do like a pigeon effect head forward head back look at that like with a six inch it's so good congratulations hasbro we've said our things about when it's not good or it's not right but this is seriously good um the jet pack is not removable when i took him out of the packaging he looked like Darth Maul. He was split in half like that because he was tight in the packaging in the internal bubble. But it's not its not a problem. He snaps back in there. So you've got the ball-jointed head and hinges there, obviously. Oh, well, God almighty, I don't want to break him. Easy. See the way he just... I was only trying to pull his elbow up and I sliced, and sliced him in half again. Um, so he, he doesn't go very up very high. The um, shoulder there, but that doesn't matter too much. The elbow articulates very well and has he got a hinge he has got a hinge on the wrist as well as a, a swivel yeah you with me uh what else 
I used to hate talking about articulation. I never wanted to go down this road of being a YouTuber like that, but it's important. People want to know. So I got to do it, man. He's got a ball jointed hip. Is that right? Hips, yeah? And there's this side uh, um, swivel there, which means that this gun here, which interferes with that pouch there, which was annoying me earlier, you can have the gun on or have him standing a little bit to the side so that can pop on like that. I hope you can see what I'm doing here. I'm looking at the figure, not what you can see. So, you know what I mean? That's why I had him in that simple pose before. They look really cool, man, actually, these guys. Oh, and see, there goes the blaster. Do you see how easily that fell off? How about this as a tip, Hasbro, if you're watching, which you aren't watching. Uh, <clears throat> but um, if that had a tiny, tiny little metal magnet, it would, uh, it would stick on much better. It would stay on, wouldn't it? Instead, you just get a little... Um, slot there socket whatever you want to call that slot i suppose and what else have we got and then these hyper articulated knees look at that it's kind of like a wheel and a hinge thing it's great and then obviously ball jointed ankles really good so super fantastic articulation really happy with that <sighs> what was i going to say is that all i was going to say i think that's about it really so really good um, do you know what? I'm going to just watch that bit back. I'm sure I was going to say something else there. Bear with me. One minute, please. <laughs> yes, there was something I was going to say. <laughs> it's not massively important, but since I was just talking about magnets on these things, they did use magnets back in 2002 for the Saga line, you know, back during Attack of the Clones. So why can't they make these things premium even more so and use magnets? Because that would really work for that kind of thing. It's just an idea. So ladies and gentlemen, on that note, I'm going to just put them on a stand. Let him rotate for your viewing pleasure. And I'm going to call it a day. Because it is quite late when I'm filming this. I I'm doing this on a separate day. I've whipped on the same t-shirt you've seen me in on the last few videos. But uh, I'm doing this on different days. Don't think I've been doing this all on one day. I've been doing it after work on different days of the week. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Well done, Hasbro. This is good stuff, man. I'm loving it. This is VC159. The Sith Jet Trooper. I've been Only One Kenobi. If you are going to subscribe, don't forget to tap the notification bell because not only is there more to come, but sometimes I do random uploads that aren't at 8 pm. Usually I try to go for 8 pm UK time, which is 3 pm Eastern time in the United States of America. And then um, that's about it, really. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. More to come on the channel. Boom. More to come, you said? Yes, Master. Including this review of the Luke Skywalker Black Series X-Wing helmet and Vader's. Thank you for watching. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. Out.